Hey, DRCC. The usual DRCC slickness. Um, this is actually called the Double Barrel. You can find it on the website. It was their hold of the month for May or June, I believe. I think it may have been June. But we're looking at it's the usual DRCC quality. It's under Giants on the website if you want to go look at it. Rubber backed. Countersunk hole for your things. But what you're looking at is dual the DRCC dual texture, which as per usual is slick as hell. Super hard. You're never going to be able to thumb catch this stuff. We've shown you in other videos. You can't thumb catch this stuff. You put your feet on it, you're going to fall on your arms. But the inside is nice and textured. You can get in, get some really interesting matches on this hold, whichever way you put it. It gets thinner as you go around. This one is fairly consistent at the bottom. You can still get a fairly good match on it. But what's funny is if you stick it like this on a wall and you have a, you have a, have a root, you're going to be able to get on the bottom. But when you, want to, when you want to get to the top, it's dual texture. The inside of this hold is actually slick. So you're going to have a whole bunch of trouble grabbing hold of this bugger. Whichever way your root setter sets it or whichever way you set it, you know, we actually noticed earlier on, and you know, we haven't climbed on these yet, but you know, we're going to put them on the wall tonight. If you're really sneaky, you can get a hand on here, and you could probably just about, if someone's using a cap head bolt, not a big normal, normal bolt, you could probably crimp and match on this, and then maybe force, the, force into a very shallow undercut afterwards. It's going to be a very interesting hold for root sets to play with. It's um, less than a month old. Have a look. Now, when we got this one, Vince sent us a new hold. Oh. This one, which isn't on the website and we don't have a name for. I gave him a quick call before I started filming this just to see if there was a name for it. Yeah, if you look at the size of it compared to a climbing shoe, and that's a size 8 US climbing shoe, it's actually pretty monstrous. Again, Dennis the Menace colours. There's a slight, like the first time I've seen on one of the DRCCs, there's a slight run on the colours, which is which is pretty rare considering the amount of DRCC holds we've got. Again, it's huge, it's dual texture, it's rubber backed. And then, not only is it rubber backed, they still, they still saved weight and they put a hollow back into it as well. And when you look at the hollow back, I was raving about this yesterday with, the, um, with some climate holds with the quality of the hollow back. Again, you're looking at a very, very good hollow back. They've taken out as much weight as they can it's nice and smooth, and it's like actually sometimes it's nicer to look at the back of Vince's holds than it is to look at the front because they're so bloody pretty. Anyway, so what you're looking at here, if we go up this way, is you're looking at a very shallow, and when I say shallow, this is a slope. You can get on it, but you are really going to have trouble holding on to this. Three fingers, and you're going to be sloping on it. Again, coming up, slightly more in cut, again. This bit here is actually dual texture. This you can't hold on to at all. It's slick. So the way you want to, want to set this hold is give people options. You've got one, two, three, which is really in cut and quite nice until you get over an overhang. And then this one, which is a complete no-no because it's um, a red herring for want of a better word. This is slick. So people are like, yeah, sure, fine. Don't like this one. Grab this one, grab this one. And then they stuff their hand into this and then they're screwed because it's slick. Same thing when you go the other way, fairly thin, a couple of little dimples for your fingers to get in, nice and big, and then, <laughs> see ya, straight on your ass on the mats because this is slick again, so people are going to get thrown off, and then you come into a very, fairly small, you know, you could, if you stack your fingers, you can get three, three, pop, three fingers into this. Either way you look at it, it's a monster, we don't know what its name is, um, the only thing I can say about this hold, just from the size of it and just from where the bolt's placed, which is nice and centered in the back, you know, as per usual, it's nice and flat, is that you're probably going to want a supplementary screw hole in this hold. And you know, I'd like to put one into it, but there's no way I'm going to put a drill near, near this. You know, I'm going to talk to Vincent and ask him to put a pre-drilled hole, pre hole countersunk into this because 
I don't want to put a drill near this because it's just going to ruin the finish. I think it should come out of the factory with a pre-drilled screw hole or two. One either end would be perfect. So that's done. That's the new, we don't know what it, what its name is, hold from DRCC. I suspect it's July's hold of the month. Um, we don't know yet because it hasn't come up onto the website and Vince isn't answering his phone. So check it out. It's big, it's bad, and it's going to be a whole bunch of fun.